Okay, hello everybody to this next session, which is about editors, editors, and editors. And we're start those two. So we're starting with Nemanja Bratschko, who has been an editor, uh, a mapper for a long time um, in Serbia mostly, and then he got hired by Microsoft, um, which is a good thing. And nowadays he is involved into editor development, and he's going to show us a new editor by Microsoft who try to capture an audience which is not so much into um, mapping. mapping, yes. So, map builder. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Nemanja. I work for Microsoft. First of all, I would like to thank you all for joining us today to learn more about uh, map builder. So, we want this to be as transparent as possible. And uh, with all of you here, uh, in this room and online as well. So we are trying actually to present uh, our product and uh, please note that we are still in the experimental stage and um, those uh, things that we are doing now, we are still in development and we are trying to learn something, some things and also we are iterating. So before we start, I have one question for all of you here. Has anyone had any delivery issues or cab uh, waits for you at the wrong place? So before you answer, um, by delivery issues, I mean that packages were, uh, were delayed uh, or even not delivered at all. So you had to go to your local postal office or delivery office where you could uh, pick it up by yourself, or even though if you ordered the food, food was delivered at your neighbor's place, or it was really delayed or something like that, and the top, at the top of that, the food was cold. Has anyone had such delivery issue? <laughs> yeah, I can, ooh, I can see many hands over there. Yeah, so um, we are living in the world that is changing really quickly. So that is the fact. This is not our, just our point of view. Uh, for example, uh, let's say that we are talking about the neighborhood that is in your city. Um, please note that uh, there are some uh, construction sites, uh, new roads, uh, and obviously after some time that, that uh, place will look differently, right? Um, even though that, that change is uh, in the local area uh, that, and doesn't uh, impose such a big um, influence to the rest of the world or globally, uh, so this is a very enormous amount of uh, such small changes in each of these neighborhoods around the world. Uh, so Built and there are some new buildings and, and uh, it is very important change for the people that are living in that area, right? Uh, so I will now go back to, to the previous question. Did anyone had, uh, have any um, delivery issues or wrong um, places for, for cab picking up? Um, if they are not aware of any of those changes in your area that you are aware of, um, it will be actually hard for them to make the delivery and the service will be really bad and the user experience even worse. Uh, so Microsoft, uh, by looking at the global scale, recognizes more than a billion such a small um, such users with uh, such small issues for local, uh, if we are looking globally, but uh, potentially they're ex uh, facing with the exact or similar issues. So Microsoft has a large user base and uh, we will try to uh, make it, uh, they feel comfortable to contribute to the OSM directly. Uh, the good thing is that maps, um, the good thing that for, for the map, sorry, 
is that uh, these users are spread across the world. So they are not concentrated just at one spot. But the bad thing is those Microsoft users are mostly not map-oriented people. So these are daily users and uh, it is not possible. They, they are unable actually to contribute. So why we are doing this? Um, as you may know, Microsoft is gradually switching to the open data and uh, Microsoft is becoming to, to uh, be a direct consumer of the OpenStreetMap. Uh, both Bing Maps and MapBuilder are currently supporting more than 140 countries and the rest of the countries will be supported in the phases. We recognize that potential of OSM data and, uh, oops, sorry. There is, yep. Um, we, we recognize open street, uh, sorry, open concept of open data, um, local community, and all benefits that could uh, bring uh, open street platform. Uh, that is why that we have decided actually to contribute even more to OSM. We are not trying just to grab some data from the OSM, but we are, we are more than willing to uh, give the data that are from the local users back to OSM. Uh, so if we, if we look at this slide, so you would probably <laughs> tell me more than I know about three of these applications. Um, but uh, all of these three applications make perfect sense for you all, for me, somehow, for a uh, thousand of other editors. But um, if we ask a daily user what they think about that, by daily user, I mean uh, non-map oriented people. So they would say, oh, this is some work to do, yeah? It is somehow complicated, but um, please know that, that those applications require some knowledge, even training. Um, so they are providing um, freedom of editing, but uh, actually it is not intended for the users that are um, not map oriented people. So mapping should be easy. It is easy to say, but let's try to do that. Uh, we are not forcing anyone to, to map, but making it possible to anyone to contribute. Doesn't matter if you are plumber or bus driver or whoever is not map related people, uh, they definitely have some local knowledge that is really a golden opportunity to share with OSM. As I already said, the users probably not just savvy people, so uh, they are not aware of map builder. They are not aware of OpenStreetMap, even of ID editor. So um, it, is, it is hard for them to transfer that their knowledge actually to the maps. This is why we are bringing an option to users to jump in right away from Bing Maps to map builder and to try to contribute more. So, even from the beginning of development phase, uh, we had an, an idea of the simpli simpli simplification. Sorry, um, the goal was make it simple. So no, no extra needs for. Um, do not make an overhead for regular users. So if you look at your left hand side, sorry, here, um, it is right here, right? Okay. Uh, so you will see a standard ID panel uh, for editing attributes and uh, for any uh, for any feature that is in OSM. So at the first look, uh, if you are not geo savvy people, you will you will look like that. Oh, it's bulky. You need tons of these uh, attributes to add at once. So. Even though it is necessary just to select the feature type uh, for the line that you actually draw at the map, uh, it is 
uh, likely the daily user will cancel the process and we will lose what we call the conversion. The conversion is when some user comes actually to uh, map builder or ID or whatever uh, editor we are talking to, uh, they map something and they push back uh, that change to the OSM. So it won't happen on uh, if they see at the first hand um, this bulky, bulky section for adding uh, missing things or updating existing, of course. So on the other hand, we have a uh, highly simplified interface of map builder. So uh, you can see similar to, to Street Complete, what Street Complete actually does. Uh, we want to organize tasks or, or set the questions uh, grouped into the same category. Here, for example, you can see the broad editing mode that uh, they can add only the geometry and its um, classification. And that's it. They do not need to add any other attributes in this stage. Uh, of course, there is a map builder uh, section that actually uh, is, uh, looks very similar to ID editor and gives you free. Uh, while we were working on the simplification, it was non map oriented people, uh, how to follow those OSM guidelines. Uh, our engineers and uh, UX designers invested a significant amount of time on improving onboarding experience. As the part of onboarding, animated and textual information will guide you through the process of your first mapping days. Uh, clear graphics and easy understandable language will users know, uh, make note what are their next steps. So we made a quick and uh, precise onboarding process. Even though if that process is really quick, um, we are using an AI actually to, um, to track the record of that user. And if it is necessary, it will advise him uh, to run training again. So this simple tutorial will help uh, them to, to get grip on the very first uh, edit. Um, so here it is. This is the really simplified version of Map Builder Editor. This tool should significantly make the process of updating data uh, more accessible for the people who would love to make the change, but they are not aware how to do that. Uh, how we did? How did we go about it? Uh, we look at the most popular editor, which is ID. And um, we actually try to make it even simpler to create simpler interface and workflows. So that we have three sections. The second one, uh, assisted mapping, and the third one is preform editing. So-called missions are displayed at the top corner or there. And uh, majority of, and it took majority of the screen. So uh, we want to drive the user uh, through the process of adding missing features uh, in the neighbor, in their neighborhood or uh, at the place that actually they come from uh, Bing Maps. So if you were looking at the Sydney in uh, Map Bing, sorry, Bing Maps, so you clicked on the edit map you will get some things over there if you want to contribute. Uh, behind the scenes, our servers actually uh, are doing some pre-processing uh, beforehand uh, in which our algorithms are taking the images, uh, computer vision is processing such uh, types of data that we are interested in, and then we are surfacing to the users one by one. Uh, of course, Features. This is the, the second category. Are not interested into missions and they are not uh, willing to contribute to what we are thinking that there is something uh, missing on the map in their neighborhood. They can actually to go anywhere else on the planet and to contribute by adding some particular 
uh, feature, which is like buildings, roads, water bodies, or whatever you, uh, we later enable. And uh, also that will uh, reduce the potential issues that, can, that they can actually make. Uh, of course, there is a traditional way of adding features like uh, line uh, points and areas like we have in ID. Uh, what's the best part of OSM? It's direct community engagement. So while we were committed to make an interface as simple as possible, we were also thinking allowing the communication and interaction between users. We believe that communication uh, will encourage new users to stay more engaged and motivated uh, and on right track for um, good quality edits. Uh, users will be able actually to receive direct feedback from the experienced OSM mappers uh, so since we are supporting both uh, messaging and commenting features. Um, users also could be discovered by other enthusiasts from their community or neighborhood. So there is absolutely free flowing. Uh, there are no issues to reaching to anyone else. So um, I will just make a free takeaways uh, from this session. So we are aware, everywhere, everyone here are aware that OSM uh, has really um, some errors on, on, on uh, their maps. So we are willing actually to try to improve those and to fix as much as possible at the most convenient way for end users. Also, we are seeing the huge potential of the user, huge, uh, huge user base, Microsoft user base, and we want actually to uh, use their um, local knowledge and to transfer it to, to maps and to make it available for everyone. And uh, the last one, please note once again, this is an experiment and we are trying to see how it will go. And uh, please help us if you can to evolve. So please allow me just one more moment to uh, invite you to visit uh, our um, map builder page, which is https uh, aka.ms slash map builder. Uh, and I encourage you to uh, send us a feedback either through the feedback button, which is in bottom left corner, or um, please use uh, OSM dedicated email, which is osm at microsoft.com. Once again, my name is Nemanja, so it was a story about uh, Map Builder, and uh, thank you for your attention. So if you have some questions, feel free. Thank you. Um, let me take out the microphone. Uh, so we have a lot of questions coming in. So the most obvious one, does it work on phones as well, or only on the computer? Uh, it doesn't work yet on, on the phone. It is a desktop application that is uh, not desktop application, but on web um, intended for desktop computer. Okay, so if I may ask a second question there, do you think that's uh, where the users are that you're targeting or why? Uh, can you repeat the question, sorry? So if you are uh, on the computer okay. and you said something about, ah, the drivers know that thing, don't you think they want to do this directly? Uh, I believe if they are drivers, they should focus on the road. So not using it currently a phone, but yeah, definitely later on they can come to a web page and to make a changes. Okay, so um, some more from the online. Um, so question about the discussions, is this in turn to you or are these visible on the discussions we have in OSM as well? So we have the uh, change set discussions in okay. OSM. Yes, and uh, is this the same feature or? Yes, this is the same feature, and it is actually anyone from the OSM community could be uh, can uh, comment on the OSM, so it will be visible to my builder users as well. Okay. Any questions here? Yeah. Let's yes. Try. Please. Thank you uh, for your presentation. Um, is it necessary to have only Microsoft account to? 
to be logged in and to create maps, or I can, you know, sign in with another account. Yeah, you should have a Microsoft account to be logged in and to contribute to the uh, Mobile. You need to have a Microsoft account. Uh, is there a plan to release the source code or make it collaborative tools so that uh, other can contribute on how the tool look like and make pull requests? Uh, as I told you, it is still early to say anything about that since it is in experimental stage, but uh, I really can't say anything else from at this moment. Uh, later we will see. Okay, let's head to another one from online. Yes. So, People ask, how uh, do users find out if the content is already in OSM? So how do you do the synchronization between the two? So uh, they will be notified uh, that the, the, their content is actually uh, reviewed. And after review passes, they will have uh, information that their edit is actually live. So return time, currently, current return time is about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yes. OK. Uh, ah. The most urgent question is, do you help users draw buildings at 90 degree angles to avoid uh, receiving complaints? Yes. So we already have some uh, integrated uh, features that actually uh, at the moment of uploading, they are making a right angle. So it should be okay. That's good to know. So some more questions from the audience here, uh, down here. Yeah. No, uh, I suppose that uh, only Microsoft Bing's imagery is allowed uh, right now in your map builder. That is correct. Yes. Okay. That's enough. Hi. So it appears that the software is suggesting areas for the user to map where there may be a missing road or missing building. Is that accurate? Uh, we have some regression, but uh, it is highly confident. So uh, if there is some missing road, it will be shown to in their area, it will be shown for the user and they will be able to decide whether if it is okay or not. Okay, so I guess a follow up question then is if the your tool and whatever back end software you're using is able to identify missing features, why not go the extra step and have it draw the feature there and then have a user validate it instead of having the user draw it to simplify the process? This is a great question, but as I said, um, this is still in experimental stage. So we need to experiment with the features and with the missions to see what will be the best way. And uh, actually the users are there, uh, the users are uh, the, the power that will actually give us a feedback uh, what is the okay thing or not. So I would actually uh, encourage you, if it is possible, just to write a, a mail or, or click on feedback button and to leave that, which is, I, I believe, that's a great question, actually. Thank you. Okay, so we have two follow-up questions to the yes. question we had. One is, you said you need a Microsoft account to edit. That is correct. What yes. about the OSM account? Do you need an account? And how does this work? So, uh, because of some uh, privacy issues that actually Microsoft needs to follow, uh, it will be created in their behalf, um, randomized account that will be through one-on-one um, uh, -on -one mapping. Uh, they will actually have a Microsoft account and it will be assigned a new OSM account to, for them. So they know about the account, so they can access OSM directly with it or not at all? Currently, no. Okay. So, and there was another follow-up question. Um, you said something about reviews. So, you have a review team for the data. How does this work? We have we have also a manual uh, review team, and also what we believe into the the community power that will also make a reviews. So, uh, this is something that we will 
uh, more uh, to, to discuss and to uh, go through that process of review. Okay. So we have time for one more question from the audience. Anyone? All right, let me check. There's one. Uh, so one clear. One question over there. Okay, so A uh, follow on question on what you just said about the mapping between Microsoft account and OSM account. Um, so uh, I saw in one of your screenshots that uh, uh, within the Microsoft application, uh, people are known to each other by name or they could at least be known to each other by name. So you see, okay, this is an edit from person so and so, and then you reply uh, with your own identity. Um, and then if, if people on OSM interact with those mappers, what will they see? Will they just see like Microsoft mapper underscore zero 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 one or something like that? Uh, yeah, so they will have definitely an option to uh, choose whether they want to have um, their name visible or not. This is the first thing. And the second thing they will have on, on the OSM side, they will have some uh, randomized accounts, which is uh, actually not possible to uh, make connection if they do not want. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you all.